We just arrived in Puerto Lopez and uh, we're about to do um, a snorkeling tour. Uh, I think we also do a little kayaking, so we'll find out all about that shortly. But right now we're uh, just spending a little bit of time at the Malacan. And uh, this area here has uh, fresh fish, shrimp. You can smell the freshness. Uh, the birds are like flying everywhere here. <laughs> Like in this one, Chris? Yeah, the best one I've ever had. Here's Chris having some <laughs> lemonades. <laughs> Standing out here on uh, the boardwalk, and it's just the most beautiful um, scene. There's like lots of uh, fishing boats here, nice breeze out here. You can see the uh, beautiful mountains and hillside we drove through to get here. Uh, it was just an absolutely spectacular drive um, coming through our, I guess it was about a half an hour that we took, and uh, beautiful. Uh, lots Hello. of greens, <laughs> lots of greens, and uh, lots of hills and mountains. It was just beautiful. Anyway, more to show you. Okay, we're off on our tour. A three-hour tour. Three-hour tour. Uh oh. I know we could be in trouble. Yeah, we'll never see you guys again. Who is your favorite person? Um, I think Ginger. I like Marianne. I know you do. I really like Marianne. Fortunately, I didn't see a whole bunch of fish. I did see a few little ones, but nothing spectacular. But the experience, definitely a 10. It was fun. So, what, did, what did we learn from this? Uh, what I think... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What I think is go on a much smaller tour instead of a big boat. Yeah. Go a little bit more. If you're going to do a snorkeling tour, yeah. I would do... Uh, snorkel tour where they have fins and everything and it's just for the snorkeling yeah. as opposed to trying to get everything in but nice do, people nice group I do know a guy and he does do some snorkeling and he does a little bit of uh, fish uh, catching fish with what is that a uh, harpoon with a harpoon anyway I might have to ask him if he can take me for a little tour yeah. Okay, how was the snorkeling, everybody? It was great. It was good, yeah. Was okay, good. let's talk with how many fish we saw. I saw zero fish. <laughs> Chris? Probably seven or eight. I saw a bunch of schools of little teeny tiny ones. Um, they were pink and purpley neon, depending on how they floated around the rock. And I saw a couple of big flounders, one that kind of laid on his side and was looking at me. So we had a little conversation. I said him on his merry little way. Well, I should have given you the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Simon, how I did you do? I saw some, I don't know, striped fish. Yeah, me too. Horizontally striped, longitudinally striped. <laughs> That's a big word. I don't know. And then uh, uh, neon blue. Beautiful little, just a little neon nice. blue. And Michael, you saw zero. I did. But it was a good experience. Well, I've, I've learned a couple things from this. One is I'm, I can't really swim with one hand while I'm hanging on to this. 
and floating at the top. I need fins and I need to be able to go down. Yeah. And maybe strap this on my uh, forehead or something. Just outside Salango. Everyone having a good time. Okay, everybody, finally I'm up. You're going next? Going. Go for it, man. I'm 61 going on 80. <laughs> Trying to swim back to the boat. It's just beautiful. Everybody, we're back from our trip. I'm absolutely <laughs> exhausted, and uh, actually, the trip was re really good. Great value. It was only twenty-five dollars for three hours. Three hours from when you left the dock in Puerto Lopez and when you got back to the dock, and it goes to an island um, just off of uh, Salango, and uh, it was quite nice we saw lots of uh, sea lions although the snorkeling was a bust for for me other people enjoyed it um, so we certainly recommend it we're going to try uh, try a tour to isle de la plata which is uh, further out a little more expensive uh, but hopefully we'll get better snorkeling and uh, and other things anyway take care till next time live the life you love <laughs>